Well, good morning. Welcome to uh, Unit 1 of COM 373. I think you'll notice that this unit is just one week long. Okay, The units do vary, so keep your eye on the course calendar, please. Um, this particular unit, I want you to start off with a uh, look at the Unit 1 learning module that kind of gives you an overview of all the activities All right, for the unit. Okay, It's a very important document. And then I want you to look at the readings. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, at least at this point, uh, maybe more uh, readings. Um, one of the readings gives you what, this, what I call the state of the media, and it's sort of an overview of what's happened to the media in the past year. Uh, it's not particularly good, okay? And don't forget, I think I mentioned in the earlier video uh, that the media, by the media, we're talking about a lot of different outlets, okay? There's no longer just the media. It's a very, very broad uh, group of informational outlets that we're talking about nowadays. Uh, the bottom line, though, is they're all trying to make a profit, and if they can't make a profit, they go out of existence, okay? There's no, I said this earlier, no such thing as a free press. Um, so there's a couple of readings. These are all short. They're web readings. They're interesting. You know, you're taking this course, I hope, because you're interested in the topic. It doesn't necessarily mean you're planning on being a journalist, but if you are, there's still some good news in the area. It is possible to get a job still in this in, as a journalist, and I have a link there to how to still get a job in journalism. It's about how to really write a standout resume and how to present yourself. Uh, so those are the readings. Um, this is the kind of course, all internet courses are like this. You get out of them, what you put into them. Okay, uh, I, I'm not going to give you a quiz in every meeting. I think that's silly. Uh, you're adults. I want you to, you know, put the energy into it that you expect to get back out of it. Okay, so I, I you know, I kind of designed the course with that in mind. I decided carefully. I do not waste your time. Anything here, I've picked out because I think it's going to really be helpful to you. That's the point. Now, the next part of the uh, module, the uh, unit you look at, please, are the discussions. I think I've already said this. Good internet classes are based on discussions because it provides us with some interactivity. Depending on the size of the class, you get more or less interactivity. But I'll be there. Okay, I'll get in there and I'll interact too. All right, I may not interact the following week. Uh, I might just do some overview comments in the next video, next week, or next unit. But I will be in there. I will be looking. I will be uh, making some comments occasionally. So please know I'm there, right? I am paying attention. So interact with each other, please, depending on the number of people in the class. And, and know that I'm there and I will make some comments back and I'll certainly talk about the discussions in the following video for the following unit. Um, I like to start the discussions off midweek, so I will get in by midweek. Uh, check your course calendar for details. Uh, if you wait to the last minute, the you know you lose the value of the discussions. Don't forget, a good internet class, a good excuse me, a good internet class is exactly like a good face-to-face -face class. You meet several times a week, you meet multiple times weekly, all right, and then you have classroom discussion in which you go back and forth discussing the information that's presented. And the goal here is that by talking about the information among your peers, you build knowledge, okay? You can't just pour the knowledge into your ear, you know, it falls out the other side, all right? But by talking about it, you create knowledge, you uh, internalize it, and you even create new knowledge. And that's what discussion is about. It's not about quizzing or testing. It's about getting you to think about the material, getting you to use some critical thinking skills, and getting you to internalize the material. Uh, so that's the discussions. Uh, please get started on them in, on the midweek. Check your course calendar. Then the um, last activity for the for this unit, which as I said is just one week long, is I want you to react to a blog. I'm trying to I'm gonna I'm introducing you to blogging in this class. It's a very, very important form of the media these days. And it's really kind of cut into the profitability of some of the other other media. And uh, I want you to so I'm introducing you to a blog. You'll click on the link where it says react to this media blog and that'll take you to my class blog. And then there'll be a link there that'll take you to to another blog, a media blog, and then you'll read what's there, and then you'll come back to the class blog and post your own comments. I think you'll figure out how to do it when you get in there, okay? So as usual, if you have questions, you know how to get a hold of me, the best way to get a hold of me is through the trying email. So, hey, please don't hesitate to ask questions. Good students ask good questions.